A boy state where the police have rescued a village head and three other kidnapped victims in that state. But well, joining me for updates on that is the Commissioner for Information in a boy state, Uchenna Oji. Thank you for joining us on Nigeria today. What updates do we have about this rescue operation? Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the incident happened yesterday around 2 p.m. Uh, it's actually an intra-community issue where uh, some villagers had an issue and they abducted about four people to an unknown place. And when information got to the police, the security officials, they had to really move into the field. And uh, as they were moving, the abductors saw them and had to leave their, their victims abandoned them uh, in, in one of the abductors' uh, houses. And um, I can say that as I speak with you that they were rescued without any harm, and police is carrying out a thorough investigation on the issue. And what, what we are seeing is uh, a clear case of abduction that is merely instigated by a conflict of land uh, ownership. All right. In recent times, there's been increasing uh, tension over security matters in the southeast. What is the Boy State government doing to uh, keep the peace in that territory? Yeah, I, I must emphasize that uh, Boy State has got no issue, uh, comparatively speaking. Uh, but it's one of uh, the safest states. Uh, it's just that recently there are pockets of issues of communal clashes. Of course, understandably, we're an agrarian state. And now that our governor is opening up all the rural communities, people are eager to take ownership of their land. And this is what has triggered the pockets of violence uh, in the recent time. But the most uh, unprecedented uh, killings that happened, uh, the one of uh, a few days ago, was the one of suspected uh, henchmen who killed about uh, 15 number um, villagers. Actually, they used to live uh, within the village and something happened in the past. They left the place, but all of a sudden, the villagers woke up to see this kind of uh, program, this mayhem. Investigations are being carried out. The governor has insisted that security agencies must ensure they track, crack down the perpetrators and bring them to justice. Oh, security Mr. has been beefed up. Okay, just before you go, this particular case we're talking about, you mentioned it's an intra-communal issue. But uh, this might just be how it starts, something friendly, and then it might just escalate in, in the days ahead. Uh, what specifically is being done to ensure that we don't have this get out of control where people take laws into their hands? I agree with you. What we are doing strongly is uh, sensitization. Of course, like I did tell you, this is the first time the people of the rural communities are experiencing development that is coming to the hinterland. So it is actually honest, not unexpected. But what we are doing is to use the various media, including the, the print and electronic, to sensitize our people, go down to the rural communities to tell them of the need not to take laws into their hands. And I think with time we are going to ensure that there is permanent uh, solution to all of these issues of people taking laws into their hands. Actually, that is the little menace that we are having suffering in this part of the southeast. All right, Commissioner for Information in the Boeing State, Uchenna Oje. Thank you for joining us on Nigeria Today. Thank you very much.